Jennifer is in Champaign, Illinois. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Hello, Dave. I'm blessed today. How are you? Better than I deserve. How can I help? (laughs) Okay. I'm calling on behalf of my daughter to see what I can do to possibly help her out of a situation that she has gotten herself into. Um, She's a single mom with two school-aged kids. She has a good job where she makes about $32 an hour and has some excellent benefits with that. Unfortunately, um, she has a lot of debt and not a lot of assets. In her case... um, What what the situation did she get herself into? She bought a house that was condemned Why? with a gentleman because she was with a significant other who talked to her. Well, basically, she went along with the, drank the Kool-Aid and went along with the story. Unfortunately, her name is the only one on the loan, and it's a personal loan. It is not a house loan. So how much does she loan. have on the personal loan? Um, her personal loan is right around $24,000. Is the her property in debt, her name? It's in both their names. Where's Goober? Where'd he go? Oh, he's not paying on it at all. I don't know. Is he still and around? Is... Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Refusing I don't think we can it. help her. Well, that was what I thought. But my question is, with her debt... Is there a better way for her to refinance that as opposed to this personal loan that she has? No, she needs to do sell the condemned home as much as she can, as soon as she can, and pay down the loan as fast as she can, and probably evict Goober. Okay. Well, she's no longer with Goober. (laughs) I thought you said he was still there. Oh, he's still in the city. But oh, he's, he's still hanging with, around, but he, he got all he yeah. wanted out of this. Okay. Now he's he got, got half a house. He wanted out of this, but this house is in, um, it's p- most likely the city is going to make them demolish it. Yeah, no, they're and not. So they're they're going to make the new investor demolish it because she's going to sell it this week. And, and Cooper's going to sign her. I'm going to threaten him within an inch of his life. Okay. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Because he, he, he's a parasite, is what you've just described, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he needs to sign, yeah. and they need to get rid of this house. I hope your daughter is not further in debt when the smoke clears, but the house is not encumbered by a mortgage. She just has a personal loan of $24,000. So if she gets 18000 for the house, voila, she's got an extra $6,000 for having taken a trip with Goober. So it's not encumbered by a house loan? No, you said it was a personal loan. Okay. Yes, it is. Probably not got a lien on the house. They probably didn't take a lien on the property because it probably isn't worth that much. You have any idea what they paid no, for it? It was fifteen thousand dollars they paid for it, and then she took out a personal loan to do home improvements on a house that would you couldn't you could make it livable maybe. So for she's $15, living in it. Dollars. No, she's no. living with us right now. Okay. All right, good. There's no way you could live in this. It's a horrible, yeah. horrible situation. Yeah. So, again, my question was yeah. to see if there was anything that we could do to advise her. As I think far that, as let's cut. Let's, let's cut this. bait. Let's cut the losses as fast as we can. Get him out of her life as fast as we can and as far as we can permanently, and get this property out of her life. It's not going to be anything but a money pit for her. She needs to get rid of it. And if she ends up a little bit in the hole getting rid of it, so be it. That's part of the price she paid for this bad decision. I'm so sorry for her. What a horrible thing. So our last caller, mom calling, grieving for her daughter who has children, single mom. She hooks up with a guy who's a bad dude. He may not be intentionally bad dude, but he's stupid. And he talks her into getting on the stupid train with him. And together they buy a condemned house for 15000 and they put another 9000 in it, and she has $24,000. And she already had $32,000 in debt, and she already was a single mom, barely making it, living with her mom. I have done a whole lot of stupid things in my life, and I have coached and sat with people and cried with people and prayed with people that have done a whole lot of stupid things in our life. Most money problems are self-inflicted. Most of the time, like almost all the time, 
that I have gotten messed up in a money situation, lost my tail in, was because I was stupid. And you know when I'm the dumbest? The same time that poor girl was. I'm the dumbest when I'm desperate. Right after I get desperate, I get really stupid. Because when you get desperate, you will grab at things and try to do things that you know in your mind are not going to work, but somewhere deep down in your heart, you think you're going to win the lotto, so you buy the ticket, knowing you're not. You think you're going to beat the odds. You look at this guy standing in front of your young woman, and you know he's a twerp, but you're so desperate that you try to hook up with him anyway. He tries to talk you into buying a freaking condemned house, and you know this is not going to work, but you're so desperate that you try it anyway. And now we've got an extra tens of thousands of dollars worth of problems. It hurts so bad. I'm so sorry. And some people don't like it that I call some of these things that people do stupid. Oh, Ramsey just calls you stupid. Ramsey calls himself stupid. So we're all stupid. We're all on, we've all bought a ticket a time or two on the stupid train. I'm not saying anything that I haven't done or that, you know, I've done stupid with zeros on the end. So I'm not picking on any body or shaming anybody but i mean just be careful when you're the most vulnerable when you're the most desperate because that's the most time you're going to fall into the trap when you're desperate for companionship you'll overlook the fact that this guy's just mentally ill when you're desperate to get out of your mother's basement you overlook the fact that this real estate deal is a horrible idea desperate always leads to stupid high probability of stupid is following desperate be careful folks